any kind of wood carving, it's always good to wear your dusk mask. Um, I didn't wear my dusk mask in my um, earlier carving careers, and my sinuses are affected from it, so it's a good idea to wear it. This is your quarter inch Cutsole Extreme Flame Burr in your Fordham Industrial Handpiece. And the other one is the uh, 1 8 in my Dremel 4000 that I'm running with the Dremel Flex Shaft. Guys, if you want to get these cut saws, just go to the description below. Take you to the cut saw site. You'll save yourself 5% if you use the code CFUSION. So there's those two burrs. My favorite two burrs to, to use is basically all I do my carving with. So um, this is a piece of root I found with my nephew on the beach. We, we called it a wood spirit hat, but it is what it is. I'm going to carve it today. It's um, really old. It's been floating in the ocean for many, many, many of years. Um... It's always good when you get your wood carving like this, and it's going to be like a table piece to make it sit flat first before you do any carving. So because you don't want to have to deal with that when you're done the carving. So this is where I'm looking, where I'm going to carve faces, what I'm going to do. If you look right here, there's a face there. This is going to be my starting point. See, there's a lip, a nose, and an eye. Then you see a face coming off the side there. I'll say when you get into a carving like this, you got to really, really open your imagination and just let her let her go, right? Let her rip. That looks like a little no, point stubby nose coming off there. So anyways, let's just uh, get to it. I'm not too sure what's going to happen here next. But see there, it sits stable. Okay, so what am I doing? Oh yeah, okay, so I'm just showing you guys quickly that I'm going to make it sit flat. It doesn't, see how it's kind of rocky? You don't want to sell a piece, of, you know, if somebody uh, barely touches the piece, it falls over. So, like I said in the beginning, take your time. Make sure it sits nice and flat on the table. And I'm using the Fordham uh, hand piece there to, to get her done. This is a pretty hard wood. It's a root piece, so. Yeah, got a little bit more to do. Okay, carry on. Here's what I got carved in it so far. There's the starting face. It's like an old troll or something like that sitting in the wood. <clears throat> this is fun to do. It's all fantasy stuff, you know. So fantasy can be what you want it to be. It doesn't have to um, be anything specific, right? Um, I'm not a realism carver. and I'll admit it. I'm not a realism carver because, well, I'm not a realism drawer. I can't draw, I can't draw worth a poop. So I can't draw worth a poop realism. I can't carve realism worth a poop so just do fantasy stuff makes sense right so you guys if you can't draw don't be afraid to to wood carve it's a total different aspect of things so there's that slumpy little nose and what i'm going to um and anybody can do this the more that you do the better that you're going to get okay all you have to do is have an imagination and don't tell me every single person on this world has an imagination you just have to find it so there I am uh, drawing on the eyes. This guy's going to have round eyes. You just got to search for that imagination. And, you know, you're not, like a piece like this, you just have to do it. You can't sit there and stare at the piece. Well, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do that. That doesn't work for me. I just got to start carving and dig into it. That's when my imagination opens up. And trust me, if you're having the problem like an artist block, try it. Just start carving. And once you car start carving, your imagination will open up. Oh, here's a little bit of me carving. I sped this. This is sped up eight times the speed. So there I'm running the cuts all quarter inch on my Dremel 4000. Dremel 4, any Dremel's good, okay? Or any knockoff Dremel's good. I just choose the Dremel 4000. The Dremel 4300 has the most power. It's the best one. But uh, for myself... I break too much flex shafts when I run the Dremel 4300 because it's too much power for the flex shaft for me because I'm heavy hands and I break things. Well, I don't break too many flex shafts with the 4000 because it seems like it's the perfect amount of power for me with the flex shaft. You can run a Dremel 3000, you can run a Dremel Multi Pro, you can run a Dremel 100, a Dremel 200. It all takes the flex shafts. Let me see here. The only Dremels that don't take the flex shaft, the rotary tools, of course, are the stylos, the uh, 40 flex, and the old discontinued advantage. And the Dremel flex shaft does work with cheaper, like when rotary tools, 
all the cheap knockoff ones if you can't afford a real Dremel. I got I got lots of ones. I've used all the cheap ones. I burn through the Dremels just as fast as they burn through the cheap ones. So don't be afraid to buy a cheap one. But I, I like you know on Amazon you can get the ones for forty bucks or thirty bucks with the kit. It has the flex shaft in the kit itself, and you get all the different bits. Well, I suggest you just put that flex shaft aside, buck up a couple extra dollars, and buy yourself the Dremel handpiece. So we got an hour and a half carving here so far. Got a funny face guy here. Just carving in there, kind of whatever people can, it can be what people want it to be. Um, we got a face up here, like a dinosaur guy. I don't know. I'm just blasting away, having a good time. This is my favorite carving to do. Just letting her rip. Got a kind of weird old snake thing here. Just fantasy stuff, people. Who cares? Have fun. See that? It's kind of like old bull, like an old cow skull thing. Eye there. Oh yeah, we got another face up here. Some kind of old dinosaur Snoopy thing. There's his eye up right there. I still got a lot of fun refining to do. His bottom jaw there. And then over here, you have kind of a pig man with a hook, with a hook mouth, kind of like a, a rhinoceros. He's got one eye, his other eye curved out. So I did that and I left that little piece in there. What are those holes? I don't know. I don't know what those holes are. They could be pig nose. They can be whatever you want them to be. And then this guy. This is where it all started with this guy. Yeah. I don't know if I'll leave those eyes in there. Maybe I'll cut them out. Oh, we got a little crocodile thing up here. Just have fun and blend everything together. So you see this eye work. This is like nostrils here. So it's like part of the cow head. So this eye works for this too, right? So it works for this, but it works for this guy with his nostrils here and his old rock jaw mouth here. Just have fun. I think I showed you guys everything so far. So I got this area left. I was thinking, well, I got a friggin' car of a wood spirit on here, but maybe this isn't, maybe this guy is the wood spirit. That kind of looks like a mustache there. But so like, if you look at this, for example, this is how my mind works. Maybe you guys see it too. What do you see? I see a face here. I see an eye here, an eye here, and kind of a mouth and a nose here. See that? I think that's what I'll do next. This has been an hour and a half, just me ripping, ripping it all, friggin' friggity frick. So I'm gonna carve this, I won't film, and I'll be back, we'll sand it, we'll put some details in it, we'll pull the, the wood burning pen. Just have fun and carry on. Oh yeah, so this wolf guy kinda has ears here. See there's one here, one here, it's just all make believe. It's whatever you wanna do, right? Just have fun. Yep, carry on. Before I start carving, I thought I'd show you guys this. Who knows? If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Carve it into something, make it work out. Okay, so I'll say it again. It all started here with this guy. I think he's cool. Yeah, this is just an old frumpy guy. There's this guy. I did some refining and stuff like that. Oh, I spent about an hour sanding. Um, there's this guy. This guy's one of my favorites too. Let's see if I can get some better lighting here. But we'll come back to this guy in a minute. Oh, I like this down here now too. It kind of turned out like a skull. I carved more in there and made it like a weird kind of skull from a different planet. And there's this guy, the bottom lip. You're going to say, Jordy, what were you thinking? What was I thinking? Well, I don't know what I was thinking. But I still gotta do lots of wood burning and stuff too. There's things I don't like on this piece. I don't like this part. That looks like a, a skeleton nose. This doesn't make sense. 
Um, this will look better once it's burnt. What I don't like in this piece, I'll show you right now. So, you see here, I got that face carved. See the eye there? And it's kind of a head. I like the little alligator up top there. Let me explain it to you. I think this, as much, and there's a face here too. Right, you see that face? I think this guy, the eyes and his nose, his grumpy little freaked out eyes, I think it would look better just with this stuff gone and just nice smooth head. And maybe, just maybe, I could carve a wood spirit up there. There is tons of wormholes in this piece. Um, let's see here. Who cares? It adds character. This is a completely 100% fantasy piece. Who cares if there's wormholes in it? Who cares if it's cracked? Look at the way it was before. I still don't know what kind of wood this is. I just don't know. That's it. I'm carving this stuff off right now. Just so you know, it's it's quite okay to say, Jordy, what you been smoking, man? What you been smoking? If you look at it this way, that's the whole thing with this stuff. If you look at it this way, it looks like this eye is part of that face. And the hair is blown over it. But you go like this, and there's that googly-eyed dude there. I don't know, I might try and fix him up a bit. Who knows, who cares, really? So, I did lots of cutting here. I don't know why, but I just kept carving lower and lower and lower, and that's the final product. So he's kind of got like a mohawk pig man something something whatever he is so i got a lot of wood burning to do on this i'm going to do it tomorrow i'm going to get the torch burn inside the deep spots um then i'll get my wood burner pan and do some burning stuff here and inside the eyes and stuff and let's do a spit test carbon fusion spit test i still have no clue what type of wood this is it's a basically a yellow wood It's basically a yellow wood. Look at, look at, that's how hard I've been carving today. Look, I got a blister. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't put my tape on. My finger for my thing. For my Dremel flex shaft. So anyways, I'll be back. I'm going to get it all burnt. And I'll get the wood burner and uh, get that all done. And then um, the next day, <laughs> look at this guy. Come on. And I'll be back. Okay, I lied. I'm still at it. You know the saying um, I say on lots of my videos, carve deeper? Well, I carved deeper. This was supposed to be uh, like a three hour project. It's turned out I've put seven and a half hours full carving on this already. Lots of negative space. You can see right through the mouth, right through the eyes. So you wanna see where I said carve deeper? Let's add a touch of carving fusion to this piece. Silly face is gone. I still got a sand inside here, inside his nose with uh, diamond burrs. There's a touch of carving fusion right there. Carve deeper. That's it. I'm done for the day now, and I'll do the burning and cleaning up and more stuff tomorrow. Another 30 hours to go. Oops. Alrighty, so it's now the next day. Um, this wood is, I don't know how it shows on the video, but it's a yellow color. Um, the only yellow color wood that I've actually really carved is yellow cedar, but this is not yellow cedar. I think this might be um, hackberry. It stinks like um, it stinks like poison in here. I can't stand the friggin' smell. It's um, It smells kind of like um, a pig farm with like hay in a pig farm. So anyways... What I need to do, I don't want to work on this piece. I don't, I want to call it done, but you got to finish it, right? So I just need to get, move on. I got this little diamond burn here. See that? You can get these at your Harbor Freight packs of 10 for like six, set, 10 bucks or something like that. Um, and I'm going to do some wood burning. I might pull out the torch burn inside the eyes a bit. 
So this little diamond burr, I'm going to get in like little areas like this, clean up all the fuzzies and stuff like that. And inside the nostril, because you'll see the cuts inside there, just get rid of that, those marks, and just quick clean up. You know, this isn't this isn't a, this isn't an art gallery piece, so, but it's definitely got character, doesn't it? It's fun to do, but man, it's there's a lot of carving yesterday. <clears throat> That's because I had to do things over like this top and stuff. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is this, this, and maybe a torch in the deep spots here. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is pre-warn my uh, beginning woodcarver friends. Maybe don't burn your piece too much because you might just screw it up. Like maybe possibly I've screwed this piece up. But so here's a tip. So when you're doing the wood burning and pretend that you're trying to get, um, let's see, let's find a good example here. Um, pretend you're trying to get in here or right here. Pretend, see these wormholes? Pretend you're trying to get in there, burn in there really good. But the, the torch flame's not getting in there because it's too far in there. Just get yourself some black paint or whatever color you want and just kind of dry brush it means like so there's not much paint on the brush and just kind of you know like get it black in there and then because when you sand it not not that I want to do that here but when you sand it you're not even going to tell it's black paint so like for example um, right in here okay I didn't want to burn too much because I didn't want to burn away the detail so you get your black brush just get it kind of just dry brush it in there just to kind of fill those little cracks so that that's a good way not to burn away all your detail on your piece okay so I tried using the scotch brake just on a little piece right here it didn't this this is hardwood right it's a hardwood and don't forget that this is a root mass and the root is a lot harder than the wood itself the roots always the hardest part in the wood so it didn't really it kind of buffed it out a bit the, the black but not too much so now I got some uh, sand, some emery cloth sandpaper on the Peter Blair sanding mandrel on my Fordham. I'm going to run around clean all this up. I'm not going to film. I'm going to clean up with this. And I might use this after so I can get inside like, because when you use this, it's hard to get in, in the eye. So I might use this round stuff, the scotch brake, to get in here and get in the, the deeper spots, right? Carry on. Okay. So like I said before, it's all got to start somewhere. And it started right here with this creepy guy. Well, it actually started getting the bottom flat so it sits nice. So let's take a look. This is total 100% fantasy. People will see different things in here, like whatever they want to see. Here's Frumpy Frump. That's what I named this guy is Frumpy. I think I did a good choice by taking that top off. It was just too much. Um, that looks cool. Cool, like a skull there. Skull eye looking back up here. It's whatever you want to see. I think I made a good call by taking that silly face out and putting this wood spirit guy in there. So you can, piece like this, you can look at it at different angles, different day. You can spin it, do whatever you want to do, right? Maybe I'll find a nice, um, this isn't the cheap piece. I got about 10 hours into this piece um, because I was fixing my mistakes, like having to recarve this out and then carving all that top out. Maybe I'll find a nice um, piece of driftwood to make a base and uh, a stick up there so it's like, so it's up tall, right? But anyways, I like it. I'm happy with it. The only place I use the wood burner, this wood burner here, is uh, right here inside the eye and I signed it. Don't forget to sign your pieces. So now what I'm gonna do, I figured um, what I'll do now is just use this uh, light mineral oil. That's how I'll get the real colors to uh, pop. Then once I know, like maybe a week or two later, once I know the oil's dry, I'll put a clear coat on it, okay? And um, so anyways, I'll get that done and I'll be back. Here, let's just do a little test here first. Look at those colors pop. 
the darks and the lights. Oh yeah, okay, I'll be back. Okay everybody, that's a wrap on this one. Did it ever go dark? That goes to show you how dark uh, the oil makes things go. Brings the true colors out. I will give this good couple weeks a dry, maybe even a month, then I'll get it with uh, lots of clear coats, make it shiny. Mr. Frumpy down there. That looks cool. You know, when you put the oil on, make sure you turn your pieces different angles because there's nothing worse than th thinking your piece is done. And, um, well, it's not done. But that's cool. I think that's neat. So I call it a success. Man, I got a boat. Um, the only thing that's not a success is I can see some of my carving things here, but we'll keep it a secret if I'm ever going to sell this. I can see some Dremel marks in that right there. But we'll keep that a secret if I'm going to sell this piece. This kind of looks like a dog. Maybe not the eye, but if you look at that view of it. Lots of different things will come out for these kind of things, right? I think it's neat. Just goes to show you, you really got to open your mind. And um, just get her done. That's my favorite view right here. Mr. Frumpy, look at that guy. Okay, so that's it. Here's the other one that I did um, maybe a few weeks ago. Let's do this. So this one's actually quite bigger than this one. So this one can sit any which way you want. That's it, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, be happy. Carve lots. Be safe. And carry on. Carving Fusion, over and out.